Hello again, welcome back to me, myself and I practicing re-rolls. It looks like we have had the very good fortune of having a second Isaac run in a row. The slightly less good fortune, uh, as it suddenly turns out, <laughs> appears to be the fact that we have to go to Mega Satan on this Isaac run. That was a good bomb, that was a bad bomb. There's some free bombs for it, so maybe we should have a look in the other red chest over here. Although I would also like to have a look in this tinted bomb, so I shall. That's spiders. That's a bad place for spiders to be. But we managed to survive. Okay, good start. Good start, bad start. No um, batteries today, at least not so far. But also, I haven't used my reroll yet, so... This is one of those suboptimal situations. The only time you can really use the reroll at all is when there's an item facing you. Basement 1. So it's not an XL floor. We could take red heart damage if it was necessary or unavoidable. And not squander a deal with the devil. Here we go. Uh, it's less than optimal for the simple reason that every room that we do before we use the D6 is not recharging the D6, which is why it's a very good uh, reason to pick up the battery if you can from the shop. Uh, actually, this is not even remotely worth re-rolling, although, um, considering what was worth re-rolling yesterday and I didn't, there's a strong chance that re-rolling that would still have been a good idea. We found a second shop, which means the other one is not a shop. There's a lot of bombs today, so I'm very, I'm very appreciative of this. We've got to do for an old push, which killed us yesterday because we had so many lives and so little damage. Uh, and for an old boss rush, which is at least different every time. But I think uh, nine inch, eight inch nails is a good start in terms of damage. A fire rate would be great. A perthro rune, a yarrow rune. The Kano rune we can use straight away. Now this is where we start to worry about what we should actually take with us. Dagars, maybe I should have come back for, but I don't really care. Principal value of Dagars. The principal value of Dagars is the spirit heart at this stage. We don't have a curse. Since there were two of them, now have two spirit hearts, and there's one lying around on the floor. So this is probably a library. Is. We can't get everything. What we do is we d6 them. Uh, let's d6 them. Right. And then we perfect them. roll. Look, I want the one that gives me enough invincibility to pick up the others. Let's uh, do this and use it. Now, when we when we unuse this, I believe the effect state. Yes, we keep the effect. So we can pick up all of these. Unfortunately, we can't re-roll them now. Oh, see, the thing about a library is if you pick up all the books, books won't drop a second time. They won't come back. Um, so, when you find yourself in a library, if you pick up each book and then re-roll them all, you'll never see those books again, and you can do this until there are no books left uh, in, in the item pool, and it starts re-rolling into multiple item rooms. This is obviously only valuable, or, or even doable, if you can actually get to the books. We couldn't get to those books, and normally what you want to find is uh, Book of Shadows for the Invincibility, or the Bible for the Flight, which is what we did. Um, but we didn't really get the opportunity, so we could have got a couple of extra Spirit Hearts out of that had we had the ability to pick up the Book of Revelations, for example. Or at least it would have paid for itself had we been able to pick up the Book of Revelations, but um, we couldn't, so it didn't. Uh, I really don't like this homing shots nonsense that you've got going on here, so... Let's deal with that first, and then we have got... Yeah, that was a, that was a good room, actually. I can I often take damage on that room, and I didn't, so... Feel okay, feeling good about that. At least now we have the opportunity to recharge the D6. Before we use the D6, so all these charges that we are getting are not value less. Could be a secret room next to this. Not sure that would have found it. I think it might. Didn't actually need to explode it, of course. Because <laughs> we could have just shot, shot, the, shot the fire. Never mind. Here's our bomb back. Most of our damage so far has been self-inflicted. Intentionally taken damage, which is fine. Uh, intentionally taken damage is taken intentionally. For reasons more valuable than the HP that we lose doing so. I, I would like these things to die before they walk into me. <laughs> and a, a, a Q would be good. Thank you. That was actually perfect timing game. So if we did nothing right, we got that timing. I'm actually going to take Capricorn because it's an all stats upgrade. 
And a pretty decent one at that. I think it's a fairly strong damage upgrade. Damage upgrades are how you win the game. Uh, we could go in here. Yeah, let's do it. Sack head is what we want. How are we going to get it? <clears throat> Don't know. Shoot all the fires, I guess. Hope for some uh, hot nickel action. Not actually made a nickel, you know, nickels. That's an interesting fact. Not completely, anyway. They're called nickels because they used to be. Same way copper coins used to be made of coppers, and so did policemen. Let's go and see if there's a. Spirit heart in this row. Oh, fudge. That was all bad. <laughs> bad everything. Bad juju. Bad game. No cookie. Well, we're not going to get sack boy, but we can re roll this to our heart's content. I think the first thing we're going to do is want to try and re roll the deal with the devil, or at least have the opportunity to re roll the deal with the devil, because it could go from bad to great, or it could go from bad to worse. I suppose. I mean, it could go both ways, but there's a strong likelihood that. Given a choice of two deal with the devil items, or maybe four, maybe six, I don't know. Uh, some of them are going to be worth taking on our current set of red arts, which is a huge set of red arts. And that's uh, that's entirely spirit hearts, but I think that may not have been worth picking up just now. Uh, yeah, we just take it. Fuck it. Um, we will get our HP back there. But we also. Uh, well, there's nothing to reroll. Okay, cool. <laughs> Anything in here that we want, we will take the key. Why don't we buy the bomb? Because we can't buy the. I don't mean bum, I mean card. But you can see how I made the mistake, so forgive me for that. Let's keep going with our as yet unused reroll. I feel like what they've done is they've taken yesterday's run and gone, right, well, if you apparently didn't want to, apparently wanted to reroll all the time yesterday, now you're never going to reroll at all and you're going to wish that you'd kept some book or other. It kind of does feel like that's the way it's going right now. That. Is very lucky that we were faster than that shot. I'm very upset that we couldn't get Sackhead, the magician. It's the next elf floor, so there's two item rooms. So the sooner we find an item room, the sooner we can recharge for the second item room if we want to re-roll it. So try and get rid of these. I believe they're called Fat Bat Tomo Flies, but I only have one source of information from that. Uh, but I suppose Northern Lion is the... Did I say this yesterday? Look. <laughs> I... I can't remember things between one day and the next. I may have said all that yesterday. No, nope, you're going to stay the fuck there, mate. I'm saying it again today, just in case you weren't watching. Good. Don't say I don't think of you. I uh, generally did get hit just now, but... Uh, I have no defence. <laughs> Nothing to say. It is the case. It is what it is. Come on, game. Let's get rid of these. Oh, that was an excellent time for you to explode right there. And we have so many bombs, we might as well check these, although how many times do we need to learn about the acquisition of pills in daily runs? And I have to place all those bombs very badly. This time, we did well. This time, we did badly. Okay, good. See? It swings and roundabouts. It all comes round again. It's, uh, it's one big wheel of history. It's balanced, it's karma, that's karma again, because every time I kill one of those things, I immediately walk into the explosions it creates. Why... I just realised we started with the left hand. This is another thing that happened yesterday, is we had nothing but golden chests, do you not remember? And we couldn't open any of them, we didn't have any keys. But now we're going to have the left hand, which means all the chests will be red chests. <laughs> but we don't have Guppy's Tail. So I think this is the first time we re-roll something. Uh, we re-roll all it into the mind, which means we can see absolutely everything, we know exactly where to go, which will speed us up to no end. Um, Especially when it comes to boss rushes. It means if we start running out of time, which is always the case as we get to the end of the time limit for boss rush. I think we buy this. Again, that that uh, attempt to sell a bomb for five cents, it's probably not financially worth it because, you know, the price in points that you pay for using the bomb is not made up for by the, you know, the chance weighted value of the five cents you get out of it. Whatever. Is there a arcade? There is no arcade, so we will continue. We're going to do as many rooms as we feel sensible doing, I suppose. Obviously the exploration bonus is not as valuable down here as it is further on in the game, so maybe we should try and push through a couple of levels at this stage. 
Especially on an XL floor. Well, now it's... XL floors are usually quicker than the equivalent two floors that you would have done had it not been an XL floor. Just, just in general. Matter of principle. Maybe this wasn't a good bomb to use, because I thought I had more than one bomb. <laughs> Which is obviously not the case, but... Maybe we'll get another one and be able to get something out of that room, but then I'd have to backtrack, so that was probably just a waste of a bomb. We will take it on the chin, call it a sunk cost, and rather than go with the sunk cost fallacy, which is aptly named, being as it is a fallacy, instead of trying to make good on that bomb, now that we spent it, we should simply stand back. We have a second reroll. There could be an item in here. Uh, it's just spiders, so, you know, I feel pretty good about opening this chest. I don't know if you drop the left hand, and as a result, the already spawned red chest becomes whatever chest it would have been. I suspect that is not going to be the case. But it would be nice if I could turn this into a, a golden chest and try and get a, a head item out of it, or something like that. I'm starting to wonder whether maybe we should drop the left hand. Um... It, it can give you guppy. I don't deny that because red chests are the most likely to have guppy items in. But at the same time, oh, that was free exploration bonus. Don't mind it. At the same time, I kind of want the stuff that you can get from other chests, i.e., consumables. Consumable. Although this is essentially a, a golden chest, right? I mean, it's a red chest with a, a paywall. Guppy. Oh, for f Not doing too well on these red chests. I'm starting to wonder whether we should... Um, I'll take it. I quite like triple shot. I've been playing a lot of keeper runs because I've just unlocked the keeper. Uh, there's a slight difference in playstyle. The keeper starts with triple shot. Uh, but not not this triple shot. Just it has sort of three eyeballs type of triple shot. Nothing. Okay. Uh... It, it kind of makes you play a little bit differently because you get such a slow rate of fire that you start trying to make every shot count and you will find yourself letting go of the fire button, basically. Um, trying to... Yeah, don't you dare stop. Halo. Amazing. Uh, I say amazing. I may be overstating it slightly, but not that much. Damage uh, damage and tears of the DPS, should we call it, upgrade is very valuable. And help, help. Just wait for this to finish, shall we? There we go. Uh, then the HP is not to be sniffed out either, because we're probably going to get a deal with the devil, if not on this floor. Then, at some point in the future. So we're going to want the the currency. It's a devil currency. And we didn't have to pay for it. We can't re-roll it anyway. We didn't get a deal with the devil. That's okay. We're going to get a different trinket, which is going to be the swallow penny, which I actually think is slightly better. And I kind of wish I hadn't taken... Yeah, speed up. Cool. I am going to play this, despite the fact I am aware that that would have got rid of my eternal heart. I don't mind it. Look how much money we're getting from this. Mom's coin purse. That was Swallow Penny, by the way, giving me all those coins. Every time you get hit, you drop some coins. Pretty decent. Range up is fine. Speed up is fine. That's pretty good. And we'll take this, which is range down. But usually downs are less down than ups are up. So I think we came out on top with speed there, and it didn't cost us too much... Oh, this is a red chest anyway. It didn't cost us too much HP to, to get all those pills out. Oh, fuck amnesia, though. Lots of money there. So we will definitely be looking to go to our shop, especially four keys. Only one bomb. Well, now we've got two keys, and I'm not re-rolling it. So three. That re-rolls everything on the floor. Like, everything on the ground on the floor. On the level. On the stage. Eh. Eh. Not too bothered by that. One bomb is not enough to get across there. And there's not really enough over there to make me feel worth... Like, like it would be worth actually doing that in the first place. I will go and get... Yeah, let's get that now. We're quite fast now. That's nice. Oh, the world card. <laughs> Fucking perfect. Now that we can't see the map at all, we have an opportunity to reveal it all. I, I dislike this. See, this is a sort of situation where you find yourself letting go of the... Ooh, I walked backwards into that son of a bitch. Did you see it? That was pretty dodgy, though. Oh, you shot me. What an asshole. Plenty of cash on the ground, but that cost me more more HP than I'm happy with it having cost me. Ah. Look, I've got a reroll, so I'll use it properly. 
There could be amazing stuff in here. Of course, I have the mine, so there's no point keeping the world card. As long as I can see the map. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> as long as I can see the map, uh, I can see the whole map. But I have uh, have squandered that somewhat. Well, at least we know we've got an, am an amnesia pill. And we're not going to use it again. I was going to say something like, can you believe that thing ran into me? But I think I just dodged slightly too far. They do fit to a grid, which is something you have to remember. Well, I have to remember. Because they they operate on a grid, but if they're not on the grid when you dodge towards them, you have to sort of know where the grid is. That may have been what happened. You can get caught out by that. We're going a bit slowly. We kind of want to be out of this floor before too long. It's not an XL floor, right? I don't think so. Right. That's where we've been, so... We're likely to get a natural re-roll in time to go back to the item room and see if it's actually got anything worth having in it, which is increasingly unlikely, it seems. Seems like what you do for these jokers is you sort of send them off to the other side of the room and get out of the way. Just trying to hit them as many as you can here. A tears upgrade would be really valuable right now. Uh, greed fight is... It's okay, it's points. Points mean prizes. I did mention on Facebook that I'm going to try not concentrating too hard on leaderboard position, uh, which is true, but I'm not going to disregard it entirely. It's not useless. It's not a value-less proposition. Uh, yes, that's a very good item, so I'm extremely happy that I made the effort to go and to do that. Um, leaderboard position is ephemeral, but actually having a good time on the run is the purpose of the run. You can't redo the run and have a better time, can you? Uh, how about no? So this is where we started. So we're rounding the corner. Serpent's Kiss can drop all these black cards, which it is doing a dime a dozen right now. Way more than it needs to, but that could be all of our luck in one go. We'll do this. Although I am now thoroughly lost. Hence Curse of the Lost, I suppose. One more. Uh, and I'm just going to concentrate on fundamentals, trying to trying to get the best out of the run in terms of me playing it. That was a very bad position to be... Okay, the first one was just a bad position thing. The second one was just a damn good shot from the enemy, oh, to be honest. I hate this. I only hit the fuckers from the front. Can't quite get them from the side because my triple shot goes at a funny angle. There we go. Right, let's get the hell out of here. I need to find the boss. Don't know where I'm going. Emperor card would be brilliant, but no such luck. My speed is great. Can't fault the speed that we have right now. Could play that. Nah, go on. Couple of keys. Could play that, um, judgment there. Another key. Okay. Not sure it's valuable. We end up spending money to get an unknown benefit. Have to, uh, I tried to get out of the way of that fucking thing. Uh, I'm not even going to try for the the secret room in that room. It's too dangerous of a room. I'm going to try not to shoot these poops. I'm obviously going to try and shoot the little poops. I mean the ones that are in the corner giving me cover, which didn't happen. They would have been giving me cover. Okay, some of this is ouchy creep and some of it is slippy creep. So thanks for the heads up game. It's the first time I think I've stood on the creep with that. Uh, Krampus. Not Krampus, but we will take both of these because I like them both very much indeed. BFFs now would be great. Sacrificial Dagger is an extremely powerful item, uh, provided you can dodge sensibly, I suppose. Um, but with BFFs, it really comes into the world of its own, really. Not, no, it's not. comes into its own. Comes in A world of its own and comes into its own are similar but completely different things to say. So, uh... Forgive me for confusing those two things. I've only been speaking English for, you know, 30 odd years. Counterfeit penny just has a chance that every penny you pick up is two pennies. But I think the fact that every time we get hit we drop pennies anyway is really valuable. We should probably head to the boss now. Don't want those. Yeah, we need to head to the boss. There's no point doing the self-sacrifice room up there. Because... Now, this can really speed us up, but we'll take some damage doing so. Um, because we're going to Mega Satan anyway. There's no point doing the self-sacrifice room, which is actually very freeing. 
Let's go a bit faster, shall we? Just see if we can actually get to the boss before the boss rush door closes. You will die now, please. Thank you. Probably I'll avoid this boss trap room. Oh, fuck. This fucking room, though. Good. One down. Three down? No. Simply because uh, of time. The boss trap room is valuable in terms of points, but uh, costly in terms of time. We need to get to the... Mm -hmm. We need to get to the boss. I don't think we can get out of boss rush either. It'd be very lucky if we could find a teleport card so that we can come back and do the rest of the floor once boss rush is over. Uh, that's very lucky indeed. Our damage penalty is probably going to be where it usually is, right up at the top. But that's okay. Not, not worthwhile. Mom will die quickly thanks to Sacrificial Dagger. Thanks in no small part indeed to Sacrificial Dagger. Put that there and then we can shoot this as well. Please. Okie dokie. 30 seconds to beat Mom is plenty of time, and there's indeed a tinted rock in the middle of this floor. Not sure why. Not complaining. What hit me? Don't care. Please die. Plenty of time. We are going to the dark room. Very well. Krampus. I kind of could have told you it was going to be Krampus, but. I'm not too bothered as long as we take the. Uh, don't have a reroll, which is kind of annoying. But what we can do is take an active item, such as Dad's key, pull it back down again, and reroll it till our hearts are. Uh, I was going to say, to our hearts' content. I started with till, so then I felt, well, maybe I should say something that makes sense with till rather than to. And then I started discussing about how what I chose to go with till rather than to was not ideal. But I still have yet to maybe apologise, or at least own up to the fact that I screwed up a simple phrase again. Not a fan of this. It's okay. I think uh, Serpent's Kiss is going to at least keep us in some measure of HP, thanks to the fact that it does that. There's one there. Uh, but also, I think Death's Horse just killed the stain for me, which I have more gratitude towards a boss than I have ever really felt before. Right, we also need to be out of here before fucking Kingdom Come. Thank you. Uh, we got Matt's Kidney Stone, which could be worth taking, actually. I'm not sure whether it is. <laughs> I, I know what it does. I don't think I've had it before. If I have, then... Do you know, I... I'm tempted to keep re-rolling because we've got so many opportunities for a decent item to come out of all of this. Please kill everything on the floor. Thank you. But also I'm tempted to take it because it's pretty good. We'll leave it there. We've got a few waves to discuss it. Right. Matt's Kidney Stone will occasionally cause your tears to arrest and then when you next fire, they all come out in a big horrible go. At a super high rate of fire. Like, with basically zero tier delay, or minimum tier delay. What could we hope for instead? We don't have Chaos, so we're not going to get any Devil items. We have Sacrificial Dagger, which is good. We've got some decent items already. That was very lucky. I wasn't paying that much attention. Um... We don't really want any spacebar items because we want to keep the D6 for as long as possible, really. There are several items such as uh, Torn Photo and things like that that just do pure, straight up DPS upgrades. What's the best DPS upgrade we could hope for? It's not going to be Death's Touch. Uh, I, I knew that was happening and yet I chose to ignore it. I'm going to keep re-rolling because we've got so many waves to get through. We could really do with some high damage item, some piercing shots, some all stats upgrades, anything like that. Maybe even Magic Mushroom would be something I'd consider taking. But I think we can do better. Uh, we got 2020. I'm actually going to take 2020 because this is outrageously good. I hadn't even thought of it. Check this out. Now we do six shots at the same rate of fire. So we literally doubled our rate of fire. And these things are so close together. This is outrageous. I'm, I'm happy with this, yeah. Come on then. 
Why are you taking damage from that? I'm not complaining, it's just I'm wondering. That is usually an extremely painful enemy. Not in the getting hit a lot sense. Well, yeah, in the getting hit a lot sense, but also in the please can we end this boss fight sense. I will knock you away. How did you how did you explode? Please, why? Help what? This thing though. There's these boss versions of these enemies that I've still not got used to. Uh, champion versions. Champion Gate, Champion Megamore, Champion Cage. They all have these brand new sets of uh, attacks, but they're so new, such, such new enemies that I've not seen them. <laughs> I don't know how it's going. I used to be able to predict. Oh, of course, we now have an extra reroll because we're going to... Don't forget we're going to have an item at the end, which could suck. Look how much damage we're doing now. This is a really good run. If you use our rerolls well, we rerolled through Matt's Kidney Stone, even though we had a big long discussion about whether we should. Uh, I think it was the right decision to have done so. Come on. That's uh, very good. Definitely can't complain about this. We have an Eternal Heart for the next floor. Keeping us in... Uh, Keeping us in red HP, which is valuable for deals with the devil, as mentioned. Bloat. Plus. Shit me. Ipecac shots are also something I find very difficult to dodge, because there's no real indication about where they're going to land. Most most shots that travel, the shadow is what's going to hit you. But it, it, it's going to continue along the path it's going, basically, or at least it has a, a pattern that you as a human being can pattern match and therefore recognise. That fucking son of a bitch just popped up in front of me. This happens far too often with teleporting enemies, and they need to fucking stop it. Tyrone, petition. Petitions.gov.uk. Tyrone needs to stop these fucking teleporting enemies from teleporting on top of me. Also, make it a little bit easier to stand in the right place more often, because I keep not doing it. I keep standing in the wrong place, in fact. There's a tunnel heart again. That's our HP back up, so if we really start fucking this up, there's plenty of red HP on the ground. We've got plenty to uh, keep, off. <laughs> keep us going. Just stop. Stop misjudging how fast you're going or where you need to stand, okay? Can we please end this as well? We've only got five minutes to fucking get to fucking hush. Oh my shit. That was lucky. What have we got over here? Something farting. Don't even figure it out. Oh, it's her. It's a. It's a. It's a good old-fashioned haunt. It's spider haunt, I think. Spider haunt. Spider haunt. We never found out. Haunt be dead. Plus, not this and angels too. You're going to explode into pieces when you die. So I'm going to try and be. Well, we knocked him back a long way. Look you, little Steven. There's our black HP from. Serpent's Kiss, which is still probably our most defensive item at the moment. Let's last, last wave. I'm tired. Tired and I wanna go. Alright, oh, so now it's a champion fucking Megamore. What did I say about this chap? Told you this motherfucker doesn't head in. I don't know how to deal with it. Why are you bringing it to me? Let's do a thing that will attack the other things rather than just shooting shit at me. You fucking dick. See? Chucking spiders at me. Ain't on. That shit. That's okay. Right, let's get a press on. It's a good thing we've got the mind. At least we know where we're going. So we can skip as much as we want of the next two floors, basically. And hope that it gets us to hush. And honestly, if I have to skip something, I'm glad I'm skipping hush. Yeah, we'll go up here. We'll, uh, band you through the secret room. Should have probably checked that we had the bombs to do this, but, uh... No, who dares wins? Uh, and loses, in fact. I, d I dare a lot. And I often lose in doing so. But we would have been okay because there were bombs in here. I'm hoping for like magic mush or something. Range up again. Question marks? Sure, let's take it. What makes you small is okay. It's not a, really a ball of steel or anything like that, but it's still pretty good. Don't mind it. Nope, I haven't got time. I'm going the right way, right? Yeah, it's over. Holy shit, where did you come from? Could do the curse room. Oh, there's creep. There's another one? There is another one. Smart fly comes out when you get hit. That's okay. 
Yeah. Please, with the fucking bullshit. I should have kept some, uh... There's two of them. See that? There's never two of them. Should have kept some, uh... Bombs to get through a room or two that we don't want to do. Emperor? No. Death touch and... We'll just re-roll this and it's going to be okay dookie Death touch is what I asked for. I said it wasn't going to be anywhere outside of a deal with the devil, or at least I implied that. We're not going to make hush. Uh, that's okay. But this will speed us up to a huge extent. Um, so fast that I couldn't even pick that up without getting it wrong. Right. We have a minute and a half to beat this boss. Get to hush. Please. And of course, it's one of the slowest fucking bosses ever devised by man. Tyrone. Petition. At least we're actually hitting it. Oh, fuck you. Uh, that did actually kill it. We want this. We want this. We got uh, the mum transformation. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, we got our deal with the devil, even though we already got our deal with the devil, if that makes sense. Uh, it's not ideal. Just got a minute. <laughs> How are we going to beat mum in this time? We need a fucking Emperor card. Hello? Take the dime, why not? Fucking yes. That room normally gets me to a considerable extent, and this time it did not. There's help. Oh my god, we might actually make it. Fucking do it. Die. We've got half a minute to beat the monk. Look! Things spawning on top of me! Can we have this not happen? Can we just have not that as a rule in the game? Like a mechanic. Not that shit. Fuck me, we're gonna make it. We made it to Hush! And I think we might actually be able to do it. Oh my god. Right. Now we don't have to go fast anymore. We skipped a lot of floor. And that's a lot of exploration bonus that we missed out on. I kinda don't want those. And I don't want those. <laughs> Let's open two of these and see what we get. Uh, okay. Of course, we do need to have keys to be able to do that. We got flight. I like flight. So that was worth doing. Let's see now. More options. Uh, there's options doesn't help us. This doesn't help us. We could re-roll twice. Let's do it. Let's re-roll two things. First of all, we'll re-roll the room with definitely nothing that we want, which I think is this one, because that one does have bombs in it. Yeah, I'm not taking a D4. Go fuck yourself. We've got a really good run set up. Uh, yeah. Rotten Baby is actually really good in this situation, I think. In fact, any situation where you have tears, which is always... Except for that one challenge run where you don't have tears. Right, we can fly now, so we don't need to worry about creep, but also we are on the hush fight, so we don't need to worry about creep. However, we do have infinite bombs, which is very nice, so I'm quite capable of hitting myself an infinite number of times, given an infinite amount of time to do so. That was close. Uh, let's try not to use Sack Dagger to do damage to anything, because it's extremely dangerous. Uh, but we do have... It's only the weaker of the two flies, it's the one that's far away from you, orbiting us. Oh, and of course, we can never possibly die. Because Serpent's Kiss is going to hook us up with so goddamn many black hearts from those those charging enemies that it spits out in a later part of the fight. If we can get Rotten Baby to actually fucking aggro the fucking hush. With the fly. Fly, aggro, thank you. Right, now Rotten Baby is going to aggro hush with the flies. Irrespective of where I am. Which only took a little bit of finagling. Oh, now we've got to re-aggro, but that's okay. We have a real Wheel of Fortune card. I'm not sure what we're going to do with it. On the chest, that usually guarantees you a... Um, usually guarantees you an item. Well, it does guarantee you an item on the chest, but we're not going to the chest. Uh, pardon me? I thought that was always aimed at me. Never mind. So these could give us some black hearts. Just, you know, early days. HP. But... I'm more expecting them to come from the, the zombie things that charge us later on. Oh, no, never mind. This is a extremely potent... Must be our luck stat doing this. Look how much fucking HP there is on the screen right now. And then tell me how we die. 
It ain't happening. We ain't dying. It's gonna be a long, long time. So it's gonna be a long. Oh. Well, we lost one of them. So some value, I suppose. Long, long time. I interrupted my song to speak, but you know, not permanently. <laughs> Luckily for you, I'm uh, I made a sterner stuff. What? <laughs> the fuck? Uh, I think I'm safe. I'm scared though. These killed us last time. I feel like this is the run where we get to redeem ourselves, both in terms of absolutely stupid decisions on rerolls. Yeah, I got stuck in the corner. What are you going to say? We're going to make of it. Oh, how about I just pick up another fucking couple of black hearts? In fact, you know what? Screw it. Why don't I just do the entire fight with exclusively black hearts? Look at how many fucking black hearts there are on the ground right now. Are you jelly? Yes, you fucking are. Oh, and having been hit once already, we have now got um, Revenge Fly helping out. That was just stupid. I just sort of stood there and watched that. I was trying to be itsy bitsy careful about. Oh, come on. Don't actually take damage to the extent that you kill Hush with exclusively black hearts. For goodness sake. Just dodge. Just dodge. Just fucking dodge. So Smart Fly is going to fly around aggroing whatever seems relevant at the time. Where is Smart Fly? It's around me, so it's obviously got nothing to attach to. There we go. What was that? These random fucking shots, where do they even come from? That's a... That's a wooden nickel, but it doesn't cost us a bomb because we've got infinite bombs, so we might as well turn it into a real nickel. Don't take any wooden nickels. I think Smart Fly is actually running around... Um, Attacking those nubs because it can't attack Hush when Hush is below. So all those nubs are always at sort of the, the first level of only shooting me with one shot type of bullshit. Uh, guess we're okay here? When I say I guess we're okay here, I am literally guessing that we're okay here. But we haven't been hit, so there's that. I'm just gonna stay here and shoot Hush a bit. It'd be very nice if something would help out. But I think we're done here! We have actually succeeded in that, which is, in and of itself, something to write home about. Not that anyone at home gives a shit. But we're down to the next floor. We're going to have to try and beat Mega Satan. Now, Mega Satan, unlike Hush, we can do that comparison. Yeah, we'll do this. Doesn't spawn quite so many large numbers of familiars. So we're relying on not getting hit. Oh, I tried to dodge between those, but it was just random. It was a scatter shot. What do you want me to do? Uh, or the large enemies, the, the sins and the horsemen and the angels from dropping the black parts, they're going to survive, help us survive on the uh, uh, the mega second fight. So not getting hit is obviously plan A. I actually do think Mega Satan is slightly easier than some of the other fights, which sounds odd. Am I even blowing those up? No fucking reason. It sounds odd to think that Mega Satan is a bit easier, but... The stages are easier, I think. They're less... I fucking hate that one. Where are you supposed to stand? Wherever you stand, it always ends up hitting you. Right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? I know where the secret room is, so there's no point looking for it. Uh, the, the Mega Satan stages... I suppose Mega Satan was designed before Hush. I haven't got any bombs, so I don't know what I'm waiting for. Christmas. God? Mm -hmm. um, Mega Saint was designed earlier than Hush, so Hush was sort of a, a step up, I guess, for the new game. I still think that uh, Mega Saint has a little bit more ease, ease in the fight. Because the patterns are easier. They're less bullet heli. Just going to pick up all these, even though they don't really give me any value. You know, the, the bullet helliness of Hush is outrageous. Often there's just nowhere to go. We'll do our full uh, exploration here. Fuck me. I'm just not paying attention for some reason. It's one of those days. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of black hearts, though. I mean, it's not a big deal, except for the, obviously, the uh, damage penalty at the end of the game is going to be outrageous. Just because I'm doing so badly, but... I'm not doing so badly that I'm doing so badly. Does that make sense? In fact, there's so many black hearts on the ground. I'm wondering whether we go and try and... Okay. 
min-maxed to some huge extent whereby what we do is we go to the self-sacrifice room and we hurt ourselves until the angels show up and we kill the angels and they drop keys and we re-roll the keys until they give us something we actually want. What do you think? Because we've got a couple of battery charges on the ground. Alright, let's try not to get hit by the feet. First time you play Satan, oh my god, not getting hit by the feet and the bomb flies at the same time? That's fucking impossible. What sort of outrageous task do you put a, put before me, you know? Am I, a, am I a man or a god? You get used to it. Turns out alright in the end. Let's get a couple more um, rooms with of exploration bonus and maybe some beating stuff up bonus and maybe a bomb so we can go to the secret room or two. Go for bombs then? I mean, I, I don't really want the key. So it's empty. Not valuable to me. Peep is probably not long for this world, if I had to guess. So much HP on the ground. Yeah, we'll do it. Fuck it. Come on, what have you got for me? Lots of money. We do get points for doing this. We lose a lot of points, and it is damage penalty points. But I don't give a shit right now. Fucking bring it on. Oh, I feel blessed. Perfect. I'm bloody marvellous, mate. Where are we going? Uh, okay. Well, we'll yeah. <laughs> and this. Uh, we can't blow it up! Oh, that's the worst. Because that could drop... I don't even want that, so go fuck yourself. Gonna reroll everything all at once. It's a shame we can't blow up that angel statue, because that could also drop a key piece. Although, that being said, we might as well drop them in here and reroll them all at once, as noted previously, see above. Okay, I'll keep hold of these, because that basically puts us back at square one, zero HP. But we've got some red hearts on the ground, so it's definitely worth them. Um... Oh, he didn't drop them. Didn't even notice. Alright, we re-roll that. No, it's shit. <laughs> Take half a heart. I don't think we've got anything that heals us, so... We don't need to worry about losing permanent Polaroid invincibility. We haven't got the Polaroid, so we also don't need to worry about losing permanent Polaroid invincibility. And we get... Ipecac. Lol. I took it. How does this look? Uh, yeah, that's six exploding size of death. And we can get into the secret room... This is what I asked for for Christmas. For my money. Just gonna pick everything up. I don't care anymore. I'm out of control. Somebody stop me. I don't want that. Ugh. I don't really care. <laughs> Again, I'm, all, I'm still thinking in terms of permanent Polaroid invincibility, which is where if you have only half a red heart or less when you get hit, uh, you get the permanent Polaroid invincibility effect. I invincibility as a result of the fact that you have the Polaroid. We haven't got the Polaroid. We've got the negative. When you get hit in that situation with the negative, it just does a Necronomicon room damage effect. I'm not here for that. I don't give a shit about that. Right, Mega Stand is open. I will not take nine lives because we have no chance at a guppy item. That being said, I will re-roll nine lives because I have a good chance at anything else. Pop! Bob's brain. No. Well, hopefully some... Uh, some batteries will drop, because batteries are the lifeblood of an Isaac run. Where are you? Still got Rotten Baby here. Now, with Ipikamikak, Rotten Baby's flies are going to be outrageously good. Um, it's just we're going to have many fewer of them. And the reason for that is that I don't want to hold the button down. Because <laughs> it's going to hurt like shit. Okay. It's going to hurt. We have got a bomb. Not that we need one. Secret room here. Next to the mind, we know all. That's why it says, I know all. When you pick up the mind. No quarter. It would have been nice to have a quarter, but obviously give them no quarter transferred from one game to another. Sloth took it at Mega Super Green Pride Ultra Sloth. Uh, took that too soon. It took me so long to remember the name of Super, Super Green that I lost what was essentially a very flimsy joke to begin with whilst trying to think about what I was trying to say in order to construct the flimsy joke which was really really not worth making somehow we have to beat Mega Satan like this and to be honest <laughs> feels bad luckily there's only one reroll target so far we do have the what is this shit? we do have the devil card which will give us a small damage bonus wow well, 
A book of Belial's worth of damage bonus for the next floor. Not the next floor. Fucking book. Mega. I re rolled before I got to it because I thought I was in it because I did a f room fewer last time. Bugger. Okay. That was dumb. It happens all the time. Don't worry about it. It's just me. Hey. I'm playing this game. You've seen me play this game before. You can't expect fucking miracles. And when I say miracles, I mean me not making mistakes. Stupid mistakes. Honestly, one item on the whole floor is not going to make the difference between a won and lost Mega Saiyan fight, right? Although these flies, right? That fly just completely finished off. Very funny. The, uh... Help. Help. <laughs> Look. What do you do, huh? You can't explode them because this fucking... Your shot's gonna explode in your face. And you can't dodge between them because there's no gap. So you just sort of go through it, right? You just let it be. Die. Take it. Plenty of HP dropping. I don't know why we've got so much red HP dropping. Normally that's a result of an item. I don't think we have such an item. We might as well finish this area. In fact, if we do this room up here, we do get a double charge because it's three rather than two. And it's famines rather than deaths, which is a nice change because all we've ever fought today is fucking death with his fucking sides and his floaty around horsey thing that attacks you. Hate your death. Right. It's the one with the heart in it. See that? With the star and the heart. Reroll. What'd you get? Fucking brilliant. A, 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 a spirit heart. Do you know what I was thinking? Oh. If only I had a way of fucking generating spirit hearts on this run, it would be so much easier. That was just a good shot. Can't really, uh. Fair play to you, Gov. You know, can't fault that. It was a good shot. He spat a thing at me, just as I was exploding, firing an exploded shot at him. And the thing he spat at me caused me to explode in my own face, which doesn't sound as, uh, as nice as it might, you might first think. These are normally extremely annoying, so I'm very glad that they were made to be out of the way. We're going to be fighting these things before too long, so we should get some practice in. Excuse me. Thank you. Don't need that. Don't really need what we've got either, to be honest. I don't need shit. Leave me alone. So when you've got Ipecac and Triple Shot and fucking 2020, you tend to be a little bit more selective when you actually press the fire button. Because your shot speed, shot rate is very, very slow. I'm in maxing because I want to see if I can get a decent item. Uh, we didn't. <laughs> but let's do the rest of the rooms. The exploration bonus may be worthwhile. Bob's, uh, Bob's curse is okay. I think we've only got one Bob item though, so we don't need to think about the Bob transformation. Shit. <laughs> Thought I was doing well. I probably, I probably was doing well, but then it turned out I wasn't. Uh, yeah, we'll take this. It can give us an amount of assistance. I thought you were dead, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, against Mega Stan. And if I stop shooting myself in the face and making my damage penalty probably one of the highest we've ever had, uh, I would be grateful to both myself and Ordnance. Here we go then. It'll be done. We'll use the card. We have 14 bombs now that we don't need any at all. So at least we get a tiny Shravag bonus, right? And we start wailing on him with poison and Ipecac shots and dodging at the same time. See, these shots are so much more dodgeable than them. Um, pushes. And I think we just got saved by uh, Rotten Baby. Those flies just took out Famine in one hit. Meaning I didn't have to. We'll get rid of um, Death, actually. Death to stop making sides. That makes our lives a lot easier. I mean, that happens very soon. Now he's making fucking horses instead, but whatever. I'm trying to bait Mega Stan into doing the Brimstone attack. Wow, this is dangerous. Because it means we get a good opportunity to shit the shit out of him. Sort of, whilst he's stuck in the Mega Blast thingy. I want you to uh, stop dodging my attacks. I'm very glad that 
That particular enemy is not immune to bombs. I suppose no enemy is immune to uh, tier bombs, as it were. Oh, this is easy. Yeah, there we go. See what I mean by the, uh, the bullet helliness of Megastan is nowhere near the bullet helliness of, of, of Push. It's just pretty straightforward. Uh, maybe a couple of overlapping patterns? None of that continuum nonsense. What was that supposed to be? Oh, we're nearly there. Come on. Come on, then! I fucking have you. Let's use this. We might as well use it. Ah! Do we get anything for it? Maybe a little bit? We can't shoot while we're doing that, by the way. <laughs> Turns out. Uh, that's that's one of the maybe more harder to dodge ones. We're nearly there. Oh, I'm just not even going to bother now. But you. There we go. Why did that only cost me one HP? Never mind. We are done. Let's see how poorly we did in terms of damage. 10,000. We still came in the top 500, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, thank you for joining me. That was a, a really fun daily. I finally managed to use my D6 for what the D6 is for, which is to get rid of shit things and turn them into good things. And the amount of black hearts we got from that probably highly contributed to the amount of points we got to compensate for the huge damage penalty that we got because we took Epicac for the lulls. But, yeah, I enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you whenever I do the next one.